Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a swatch and a review of the Inside Cosmetics Glitter Highlighters. Now these are cream based highlighters which is quite recently launched and they offer about 6 shades and I have all the 6 shades with me. Now in this video, I'm going to be doing arm swatches, swatches on my cheekbones and just for shits and giggles, I'm also going to be using them on my eyelids and one of my eyelids has been primed using a concealer and a loose powder wherein the other eyelid is just bare and this is just to see how long it lasts it does it crease and all that good stuff and also stay tuned until the end because i have quite a few thoughts about these products now before we can get into the video and if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video Okay, so first let's go over the description and the features of these highlighters. Now it says that this is a long wearing cream powder highlighter formula that has a unique texture that is buildable and blends flawlessly to leave the cheeks and the high points of your face looking healthy. It brings instant glow all day long due to the high intense natural glow. It's buildable, blendable and so buttery soft. It is designed to complement all skin tones and skin types. The smooth texture blends effortlessly and gives the perfect luminous finish to complete your look. Now like I mentioned before they do offer about 6 shades and they are priced at 99 rupees for 3.5 grams of product. These are cruelty free and paraben free as well. So these highlighters come in these white packaging with gold writings and it has a clear cap so that you can actually see the highlighter and at the back you have the shade name and number so this is the shade 3 which is angelic beauty and this is how the highlighters look like in the pan and this is how creamy and buttery and blinding it looks
Okay, so I have zoomed you guys in and like I mentioned before, this side of my eyelid, I have set it with a concealer and a loose powder. I'll mention all the products on the description box below. And this side, I wiped it off so there is nothing on this eyelids at all. So firstly, I'm going to go with the shade 03, which is this golden shade. And I'm just going to take my ring finger, take in quite a bit of product and with my middle finger, I'm just going to like blend it as much as I can. Okay, so for the next year, I'm going to go with 05 Savage Barbie, which is more of a darker rose gold kind of a shade and lightly apply it on the outer corners of my eye. Do you guys see a difference? It all looks golden, you know? Initially, I was able to see the shift of that pinkiness in it, but now I just see is golden. Now, for the other side, which is bare, I'm going to be using a brush to apply it just for shits and giggles, just to see how it goes on. And I'm going to take this brush and... There we go. Okay, I do like the application using a brush, but I will still be blending using my finger. Uh, but the application part of it, brush, I would prefer it. And again for the shade 05, I'm going to take a fresh brush and uh, do the same thing. No, it's going on a bit patchy. Hmm, brush is a mess. For these products, fingers are the best. So I'll quickly finish the rest of my eye makeup and I'll be back for the inner corner highlight. Okay, so I have almost completed my eye look. The only thing that is missing is the inner corner highlight and for that I'm going to use the shade 04 Frosted Heart. And this is how silvery it looks like. And I'm going to take it on this sort of a definer brush and lightly coat it the right okay i'm not going to meddle much with it i'm just going to leave it as it is because i still do like it it's nice and it's popping and it's good so this is how it looks like overall now what i'm going to do is the time is 3 39 pm so I am going to be filming another couple of videos and then I'll be back. I'll show you guys how my eyelids look like. The one with the base, one without the base and how everything goes. So yeah. Okay, so it has been a little over an hour. The time right now is 5.05 p.m. And my eyeshadow has actually creased already. Now let me zoom you guys in and show you what exactly has happened. Okay, so I have super zoomed you guys in. Now, as you guys can see over here, even after setting it with the concealer and a loose powder, it has creased quite a lot. And um, this is how it looks like on this eye. Uh, wherein on this eye, it is not that creased, which is very surprising. I thought this eye would actually crease because it doesn't have any base that I've set it with. It has still creased. It's not like it has not, but it is less compared to this side so yeah that is quite disappointing now i do have to film another video or two so i am going to fix this and uh, to fix it i'm just quickly blending it with my fingers that seem to work okay so i just blend it with my fingers and it seems to be okay so yeah and that is it for the update and now let's continue with the video Alright, so first let's talk about the formula and the pros of these highlighters. Now firstly, it is very creamy and balmy in texture and it blends effortlessly. It's not sticky, it's not tacky and it's very lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all. So this is like a buildable sort of a formula where you can make it like a subtle look and you can build it up to a blinding sort of a highlighter. Now the best part about this is that it does not remove or interfere with the base makeup or the foundation when you're blending these highlighters on your cheekbones. These also last pretty long as a highlighter and last but not the least these look really pretty as an eyeshadow as well 
However, there is a con to it. Like if you watch the eyeshadow application part of the video, then you will know what it is, but I'll talk about it in a few seconds. And now coming to the cons, the first con is that these do have finely milled glitter particles in them. Now I'll insert a video just to show you how it looks like with flashlight on my phone camera. And hence, because of that, it does emphasize the texture on your skin like how I have. Now, if you have like a clear skin, there is no texture or bumps on your cheekbones or your cheeks, you are good to go. But then since it's a cream product with glitter particles, it will emphasize your texture. Now, the second con is that it does crease on your eyelids. Now, I do know that it's not meant to be put as an eyeshadow, but I just want to give it a try because it's a cream product and there are many cream eyeshadows. So I tried it and it does seem to crease in like one hour of application. Now, the side which was concealed and set with a loose powder, that creased a lot more than the other side where I did not set the base at all, which is very odd because I thought it's going to be the other way around. But yeah, it does crease. So I would not recommend this to be applied as an eyeshadow. Like it does look pretty but it does crease. Now the third and the last con is to do with the fact that they have not specified any of the ingredients or the manufacturing or expiry of the product when you buy them individually nor is it available on Amazon or Flipkart. Now I bought this pack of six off of Flipkart and as a consumer not everyone are going to buy that whole pack because in this other back you have all the information that you need but then when you buy them individually it just comes with the packaging alone and at the back of the packaging there is just shade name and number. I wish they came out like with a box for the packaging because at the back of the box they could have provided all these information which is extremely important for any consumer to buy. And this is such a shame as well because they have provided such a helpful information about which shade will suit for which skin tone which again I will insert the picture right here you guys can see it but yeah I don't know why they chose not to update any of these things on Amazon or Flipkart at least. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? So overall in my personal opinion I find these highlighters to be like 50 50 ish the reason is because if you have like a clear skin no bumps no texture at all especially around your cheekbone area you will love this highlighter it blends like a dream it gives a beautiful glow as well and the best part is that these are only 99 rupees however if you have a bumpy or textured skin like mine then i would not kind of recommend it the reason is because i do use cream products not like i don't i always use cream products like cream blush as well as uh, cream contour and everything but then those are matte finish However, this one, even though it's creamy, which is still fine, but they do have glitter particles, which tends to cling on to all the bumps and texture on your skin, which in turn emphasizes them. So that's why for highlighters, I usually stick to powder highlighters, which give like a sheen rather than, you know, glittery kind of an effect. But then having said that, I do have the highlighter on right now. It does look good on camera, like for pictures and photos, it will look great. However, when you do see me in person or if I look at myself in front of the mirror, I can see the bumps and the texture quite emphasized. I'll put up a picture of what exactly I'm talking about. And this picture has been taken like in normal indoor lighting. I was just having coffee in my parents' room. But yeah, I hope I'm making sense. Because for me personally, I do prefer if my makeup looks good in person. So yeah, these were my thoughts on the Inside Cosmetics Glitter Highlighters. And guys, this wrap today's video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try to set for you as well as follow me on my socials which is ishanayar on instagram and ishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye